Now there is just one other type of hypertension. That is whatever the cause of hypertension. And whoever may suffer from it. You can always cut off, separate, put aside a group of people or patients in which the hypertension is extremely bad. We have a name for that. We call it malignant hypertension. For someone with essential hypertension, they have malignant hypertension. Some patients with chronic diffuse renal disease may have malignant hypertension. Some patients with a pheochromocytoma may have malignant hypertension. Any patient with Cushing syndrome may go on to develop malignant hypertension. Whoever develops it, and for whatever reason they develop it, this is an extremely serious state of affairs. Because in malignant hypertension, there is not just an increase in the spasm of these blood vessels, but they actually become injured and damaged and occluded. So the end result is widespread tissue damage due to ischemia. And patients with malignant hypertension, if left untreated, die of renal failure because the kidneys become ischemic. All the arterials in the glomeruli become damaged and injured and occluded. Now there's a sign for malignant hypertension that is extremely important. Obviously the blood pressure is high, and indeed the blood pressure is high, and diastolic blood pressure of 120 and more, and systolic blood pressure of 200 and more are compatible and in line with malignant hypertension. What defines it to be malignant is that if you were to look with an ophthalmoscope in the back of the eye, you will notice that there is swelling of the optic nerve head, the second cranial nerve, or if you like, the optic nerve disc, a condition we call papilledema. And as well as papilledema, there are often exudate and hemorrhages on the background of the eye, on the retina, because of the damage to the small blood vessels I've told you about. This is because there is a raised intracranial pressure. The pressure in the brain is increased. So you diagnose malignant hypertension not so much with a stegnominometer, but with an ophthalmoscope. Now the danger of a raised blood pressure a raised blood pressure encourages atheroma. That is the major disease which obstructs blood vessels. And if you have a raised blood pressure inside your arterial system, you are more likely than not to damage the fine mosaic endothelial lining and deposits of fat. And platelet will begin to accumulate and aggregate. And you end up with atheroma. I say that to you now because I use the term earlier on atherosclerosis, but it is the atheroma in the lumen which is the most important thing. So that patients who are hypertensive have more coronary artery disease, more peripheral artery disease, more cerebral artery disease because they're hypertensive. If you have a raised blood pressure, that puts an added strain on the left side of the heart and you may develop heart failure. Left heart failure or if you're an elderly patient, that